My name is Kalis Kalel Pa. I'm a professional surfer, and this is the American Athlete. Growing up in Waikiki, a lot of people look at it as like a tourist destination, you know, but like underneath that, there is like local families and a really big, you know, surfing community. And those are like my biggest influencers growing up. I was born and raised in Waikiki, which is on the island of Oahu. From a very young age, I was introduced into the ocean. Both of my parents actually surf, and so do my grandparents. So since I was a couple months old, I was put on a surfboard for the first time. And ever since then, that's where I've been. It's a very rooted place. You know, our kings and queens in the Hawaiian kingdom used to surf there, and now that I get to experience that alongside my cousin, you know, my mom, my dad, my grandparents, and my aunties and uncles that raised me is a very um, special feeling, I feel like, and without that upbringing, I definitely would not be where I am today, and like, I have them to thank, and they are my reason for being on such a high competitive level for surfing. competing since I was maybe eight, but always like the fun contests at home and, you know, being here at the U.S. Open and competing on tour is a much larger scale than those contests that I'm used to. There's like a group of us that always compete with each other especially on the world tour, but when we're at home, we kind of just like have fun, joke around, a couple mock heats here and there. Me and my dad actually have like a summer contest. There's like five contests that run a summer and we always say whoever places the best out of those and it's just fun, yeah. Oh my gosh. I've actually never seen so many people like watch surfing before. Like, especially live, you know, you watch it through a screen all the time, but to actually like be here in person People are just so passionate about like watching surfing and I think that's so cool. But um, even when you're not watching surfing, there's so many different things going on on the beach. Like they have brands who do like games and stuff for everybody. But it's just nice because like families come from like all over California for this event and I just think that's really cool. This is, I think my third or fourth U.S. Open, actually. I've been grateful enough to come away with the win here twice. But there's just something about Huntington that reminds me of home so much. I can't quite grasp what it is yet, but just the vibe with everybody and like the ocean. And there's a wave back at home that I surf every day that just reminds me so much about it. I think the biggest thing in Competitive surfing is like sitting on your opponent. Say like you have priority, your opponent needs a pretty low score. You would want to use that priority to sit on them and make sure they do not get their wave because there's a good chance like they will get their score. But there's also so many different things going on because you have to make sure like if a good wave comes in, you take it, but there's a chance that it won't be a good wave. So it's like you gave your opponent like priority. It's just like, so many different things going on. I love everything about this sport. I mean, like, just like the community, I think is my favorite. You have so many people from around the world that are brought together by surfing and like the ocean. So I think that's like my favorite part. My not so favorite part? I don't want to sound like rude or anything, but maybe like losing, like working so hard for an event and a result and then just like, to lose maybe in the first round is such a not so great feeling. <laughs>Last year here at the US Open was actually very interesting for me. It was the second stop of our season. I had actually missed the first stop. And it was in Australia. I kind of took a big risk with that one because they were only taking your top two events and there was only two left. So say I didn't perform the best at the US Open, I would have um, had a really rough year. But I actually missed it because I had my great grandmother's funeral and I, that was like a no brainer, you know, like being with family is the most biggest priority I feel like in my life. So it was the best call I could have made. 
And it actually motivated me more, I feel like, for the US Open. Because a lot of people were like, oh, she missed the first event, like, she's not gonna re-qualify. Like, there's so many different things. So I kind of had, like, a really strong drive, I feel like, for the US Open, you know? Like, I wanted to prove to everybody, like, I can miss the first event and hopefully perform really well at the next one, so. It definitely was, like, for her, like, just feeling her with me, like, oh, yeah.